because this is something unprecedented in uh, the history of the English department and the Miata University. So I welcome all, uh, all the professors, the dear colleagues, uh, Dr. Uh, of course, Professor Ashraf Uta, Professor Reham Khalifa, uh, the dear doctors, Dr. Raif, uh, Dr. Rashad, Dr. Marwa Shusha, uh, Dr. Reham Makroom, Makroom uh, Dr. Abdullah, of course, uh, we, we are so happy to have you uh, with us, sir. Uh, welcome abroad. And of course, uh, yani, this is a hearty uh, welcome Uh, for you, sir. Uh, the addition Kibira Lil Kism, Bezni Law, Ethra, uh, Dr. Mirzana, uh, Dr. Ines, uh, w- welcome all of you, and uh, Dr. Sara, of course, and of course, uh, Dr. Fatma, uh, welcome uh, all dear uh, colleagues. And today we are going to um, see this seminar. We have here Omnia Dawood and Nada Isam. Both of them are candidates for the registration of the uh, academic degrees of the PhD and the MA in uh, English language uh, and literature, of course, the branch of linguistics. So we are going to start with Omnia, okay? Omnia, okay. Yeah, all right. Omnia, I'm going to share, I'm going to share the, uh, the, the presentation and you are going to read your presentation, all right? Make sure that you have your, your mic working. And okay. make sure that your mic is working, all right? I'm going to share the presentation. Uh, and of course, let us make a rule here that uh, everyone is going to have his own uh, you know, chance to speak and to, uh, to comment and to recommend. Please, no, no interruptions, no interruptions. Everyone has got his own share, all right? Everybody's got his own time. So no interruptions at all. Now I'm going to share the, uh, the screen here. I'm going to share the, uh, the presentation. Here you are. This is Omnia's, uh, um, uh, Omnia's uh, presentation. Omnia, you can see this or? Uh, you... I'm still... Now do you have Just one minute, please. please. Yes. Now, uh, I know. I have right now a stream yeah. that's written welcome. Yes, okay. But this is mine. All right, this is yours. Doctor, I am Nada. Oh. Yes. <laughs> this is yours. I am this Nada. Is... This is mine. Yeah. This is Nada's? Okay. Type Omnia Haktik Fina. Yes. It's with you. I think Dr. Rehan gave it to you. And I have my, my own one. I can share it if you want. You, you, want can, it. you can share it. You can share it. Yes, yes I will try right now. Uh, 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 Can I, can I, yeah, may sure, I share it? Sure, sure, go ahead. I'm st- I'm, I'm, I, will, I will stop my sharing and you are going to start your own sharing. Okay. Oh yeah, only the host can share the, in this meeting. I'm sorry about this. Dr. Ahmed, make her a host. You can make her a host. And I then can, she can yeah, share I anything. I can do that, I can do that. Yes. Just go to her name and uh, right click. And you make her a host. Thank you so much, sir, for helping. Now she, now she is a host, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank right. you so Go much. Ahead. Okay, I will. <clears throat> Just one minute, please. Take your time. Thank you. Is it clear right now? Yes, yes, Omnia, thank you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, first of all, really, I'd like to say that I'm, I'm really very, very, very grateful for all of you. And uh, uh, it's a great, great honor to be uh, uh, here in front of all of you. Thank you so much and thank you uh, for your time. Uh, let me start, please. Uh, here we have the title of the proposal. Uh, which is a systematic uh, systemic functional analysis of the political discourse of the deal of the century in selected American online newspapers. Uh, and uh, my supervisor is Dr. Biham Muhammad Khalifa. And uh, <clears throat> let's uh, 
move right now to the introduction. Uh, the study here is, is, is directed to do an analysis of Trump's announcement of the deal of the century as a controversial issue. It's a very important issue here regarding three newspapers. Uh, and, and this analysis will take care uh, through the use of critical discourse analysis combined with Halliday's systemic functional linguistic. Uh, then I have my rationale for this study and, and actually this, could, uh, this study could help us to analyze the linguistic features that we can find in this announcement, which is the deal of the century. As we said before, that this is one of the most controversial political issues uh, and this will uh, be done through using a systemic functional linguistic approach. After this, we have the objectives of the research. And here actually we have three objectives. The first one is exploring the interpersonal opinion or justification of the American newspapers. And then we have to examine the relationship, the second, the second objective to examine the relationship across uh, the experiential meaning and the political discourse of the selected American newspapers. And then actually we have to configure the modality rule within the political discourse found in the selected American newspapers. And thus we have three questions of the research. The first one, how do clauses here help identify the interpersonal opinion of the selected newspapers? And the second one, how is the experiential meaning realized through the process types and participant, participant rules within the political discourses of the deal of the century? And the third question, how is the interpersonal meaning realized through modality types within the political discourses of the deal of the century? Then we have the methodology and actually our study adopts a qualitative descriptive approach here to analyze one of the most important political issues, as we said before, and this located within three uh, uh, newspapers, selected American online newspapers, uh, USA Today, the Washington Post, and the New York Times. And then the data included within the current study is presented in the form of clauses. Then we have to move right now to the concept of the systemic functional linguistics. Actually, systemic functional linguistics is concerned with meanings of the language. And according to semiotic systems, language is meta-functionally organized to be evolved, to make sense of people's experiences and of getting along with each other. Thus, the task of SFL is to acknowledge how meanings are generated and exchanged via the resource of not only grammar, but also lexes. And then we have one of the most important item here and it's experiential meta function. Experiential meta function, which is embedded in the system of transitivity, it's actually a category of additional meta function that is considered to be the third item of meaning in systemic functional language. So here, systemic functional language contains three items. The first one, experiential meaning, which is additional meta-functional. The second one, interpersonal, and the third, textual meta-function. So experiential meaning here can be interpreted throughout six various process types, material, mental, verbal, behavioral, ex existential, and relational. And then we have interpersonal meaning. And as I have said before, that interpersonal meaning is one of the items of SFL. Interpersonal meaning embodied within modality patterns is one of SFL items. There are two types of modality here, namely modalization and modulation. And for modalization, we have here two types, probability and usuality. And considering modulation, it's a sort of internal connotative meaning which asserts obligation or permission. And through using interpersonal meaning and experiential meaning and realizing both of them in our 
this course analysis, we will know how to analyze the linguistic features we can find in this discourse analysis. So thank you so much. And uh, I, I, I thank you for your attention and thank you for your time again. And uh, this is my whole proposal. Uh, okay, uh, please, would you like um, to give us an idea about your chapterization, how you are going to uh, divide or develop your, um, your thesis? What's the logical development of your thesis? Yes, <clears throat> first of all, we have the intro and then the rationale for the study. Uh, and then we have the statement of the problem and then our research objectives, and then the questions. Okay. Then we have the research methodologies, the research design and the data collections. Then the literature review, and then the theoretical framework. Mm -hmm. Then the concept of systemic functional linguistics. Amen both of transitivity and modality patterns and how we will realize this throughout our discourse, political discourse analysis. And then our sample analysis, um, right. which is... Uh, uh, but, but do you have something like uh, the first chapter you are going to do such and such and the second chapter you are going to do such and such? I mean, like, how are you going to divide? What's the chapterization? I'm asking about the chapterization. Yes, chapterization. Yeah, actually, all of this I will I will deal with this uh, uh, later on. I, uh, first of all, I, I was just outlined the, the, the most important uh, 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 things in the proposal, the, the most important items, and then uh, after this. Uh, the next step to 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 uh, give much more time and much more details and much more uh, 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 efforts maybe to uh, to do it in 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 a in a good way to to chapter to do the the last of the chapters and something well, like this. Well, well, actually, uh, so actually, one of the requirements uh, that you are going to follow is to give us you know a plan. And your plan yeah. of the research, or right, must be now uh, in, in, in very clear in the matter of how you are going to develop your discussion in a logical manner. I mean, what's the logical development of your uh, of your study? And the logical development yes. here has to do with how you are going to divide the chapters. Uh, what are you going to do in chapter one, and why you choose to? you know, dedicate this part of the study to the, the study of this part of, and this, this is very important for, uh, you know, um, or as an, a requirement for the uh, registration, as a requirement for the plan to be very clear on the point of chapterization. All right, now uh, uh, you have finished? Yes. That? You finished, okay. Now, can we take off uh, this uh, screen, uh, you, you know, uh, stop sharing the screen because we need to, um, uh, yeah, please stop sharing. Oh, yeah. yeah, stop sharing the okay. screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, <clears throat> we are back to you. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, this is the time for uh, the discussion. This is the time for discussing uh, the idea or the different ideas with uh, with Omnia, so uh, we are going to start with Professor Ashraf. Uh, sir, do you have any uh, any questions to be asked uh, to the candidate? Okay. Well, thank you so much, uh, Prof. Ahmed. Well, Omnia, thank you so much for uh, joining us and for presenting your topic. Uh, actually, it's uh, very interesting, and I think um, your topic is new of its kind. Um, the deal of the century is something new uh, and we are suffering from it uh, in the Arab world nowadays. So it, it's something good to talk about it. And thank you, uh, Prof. Reham, for uh, uh, thinking about this uh, topic as well. Uh, but as uh, Prof. Ahmed said, uh, Omnia, you have to have a chapterization. We should know what is the title of chapter one and what are you going to do in it 
what's the title of chapter two and what are you going to do in it and so on and so forth. So uh, this is something missing, missing uh, uh, Omnia, you have to do it. Yes. You have to be uh, uh, very clear about, uh, uh, you know, the steps of your uh, uh, research. Uh, what are you going to do in the introduction in the, in, in the first chapter until you reach uh, the conclusion? Yes. Uh, yeah. Omnia, if, if, you, if you have uh, um, the, um, the proposal in front of you, the yes. second paragraph, the second paragraph uh, after the, uh, yes, in the introduction, the second paragraph, uh, according to uh, Sapir or something like that. Yes. Okay, uh, this is one of the mistakes uh, many uh, of our researchers do, that they don't mention um, the full name of the author when uh, he or she is first mentioned. Uh, for example, uh, um, uh, our author is uh, uh, Dr. Raif Sobh, for example. You can't say Sobh. No, you should yes, say, yes. when you first mention uh, Raif Sobh, you should say Raif Sobh. Then after that, you can say Sobh, okay? So here you start talking about uh, the author uh, by his uh, second name or, or uh, last name. And you do this throughout the, the proposal. No, you can't do this. You should start with the full name for the first time, and after that, you can use the last name, okay? Yes, and I, uh, yes I, I, I was just uh, uh, replying, Dr. Ashraf, yeah, uh, uh, but just uh, APA style maybe differ from NLA okay. style. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for clarifying the point. Uh, it's, it's yes, okay. thank you. If it, I guess it's okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, if we move to uh, uh, objectives. Research objective, Omnia. Yes, yes. Um, in the objectives. title, yes, Omnia, the, the, the objectives have to deal with the title, or the title have to be represented in the objectives, okay? The major point in your title is talking about the deal of the century. This yes. is the most important keyword in the, uh, in the title. But, yes. Uh, I don't find it in the, in the objective. Your objectives are in Wadi and the title in another Wadi. Is that been no, <laughs> no. To, let me let me illustrate this. Uh, actually, the political discourse, this political discourse is the deal of the century. The political discourse talking about the deal of the century, and I, I have mentioned actually the political discourse uh, uh, in, in two of my objectives. You know, well, uh, exactly. If we if we read number one. Exploring yes. interpersonal justification of the American newspapers. Yes. About, about what? About uh, the, the deal of the century, the announcement of Trump, the deal of the century. How can we know? This is ambiguous. You should uh, no, clarify. I agree with you, Dr. Ashraf. I agree with you. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Dr. Ashraf. Okay. For interrupting you, Professor Ashraf. No, go, go uh, ahead, uh, Prof. Abdullah. Go ahead. So, sorry for interrupting you, Professor Ashraf. I, I, I totally agree with you because the Omnia uh, in research, we are not dealing with intention. We are dealing yes. with what is written, what is already stated in your, in your, uh, in your proposal, not about your yes. intention. So, yes. Professor, Professor Ashraf, yani, uh, uh, rightly, uh, uh, think that it's very important. You have to. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The voice is not very clear. Professor, Dr. Hamid Al Far, دخل ولسه بيضبط المايك فواضح إن مش عارف إنه هو طلع على الهواء. Dr. Hamid. Yeah, مساء. Dr. Ashraf. أهلا وسهلا أهلا بحضرتك. أنا خلاص كده على الهواء تمام يا باشا؟ أيوة أنت على الهواء بقى يعني إيه ظبط نفسك بقى. <تصفيق> أنا طالع صورة ولا إيه؟ لا لا مش طالع صورة طالع صوت بس. تمام يا باشا شرفنا بيكم وسلامنا لأستاذنا الدكتور أحمد وكل أعضاء القسم المحترمين قسم اللغة الإنجليزية. أهلا وسهلا. أهلا وسهلا. بالتوفيق إن شاء الله. أهلا وسهلا. يا أهلا وسهلا. يا أهلا بيك يا باشا. يا أهلا يا دكتور. أوكي. بك شيك دكتور عبد الله بليز. 
دكتور اشرف الاول اتفضل دكتور اشرف شكرا شكرا دكتور عبد الله هو حتى يعني if we move to uh, the second objective examining the relationship across the uh, experiential meaning and the yes. political discourse of the selected uh, where is the, the deal of the century again you know you should write it Omnia. you should clarify oh. things here Okay, uh, just but I'm depending upon that the political discourse is written in the title, and that uh, that's very enough. That the political no. discourse of the deal of the century. No, no, no. The the political discourse can include uh, uh, any other any other discourse any other uh, uh, topic. The political yes. discourse is very very broad. Under yeah. it, you can put uh, many many things. Okay. Yes. Just uh, let, let, me, let me write yes. this, please. I'm sorry. That's. You're I have to mention the deal of the century. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You have here two remarks. Two remarks. All right. The first yes. one has to do with the chapterization, which is very important. The second. Yes, sure. Remark, the second remark has to be, uh, or has to do with you know being definite. You know, uh, scientific yes. or academic writing uh, must be very clear, very concise, and precise. Precession is very important, all right? Thank yes. you. Okay, go on. Okay, Omnia. Omnia also, um, I wonder uh, if, you, uh, if you need to give us uh, or to give uh, uh, the reader uh, some idea about the, the deal of the century. Suppose we don't understand what you mean by the, the, the deal of the century. And by the way, we are not uh, uh, politically oriented in, in this century, in, sorry, in, in this time, in this generation of uh, readers don't know a lot about politics. So many people may not understand what we mean by the deal of the century. If al the proposal, can you tell him the deal of the century? The deal of the century, the deal of the century uh, Trump's plan, uh, uh, you know, about, you know, the, um, the, the Palestinian, the Israeli-Palestinian uh, problem, you know. Yes. So yes. Uh, you, you you haven't spoken about this. Uh, actually, Doctor Ashraf, I ha I, I have spoken about this, but uh, previously because it's uh, just a proposal. So uh, the main idea. Uh, maybe will be illustrated more and more deeply throughout the whole uh, thesis, and, and uh, that's it. But anyway, yes, you, you are uh, extremely true, and thank you again for this uh, 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 outstanding remark. Thank you, uh, thank you, and I will take this sure in my consideration. Yani Omnia, and you can mention the statement of the problem, all right? Uh, right. Of the problem. Yeah, right there at the beginning. Maybe a paragraph. Yes. Maybe a paragraph, you know, a few sentences are going to be enough. Just tell us. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go, go ahead, okay. Professor Ashraf. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. the, the last point, uh, Dr. Ahmed, the last point uh, about the references or the bibliography, uh, Omnia. Uh, the latest reference uh, uh, here is 2014. And you are uh, talking about, uh, you know, um, uh, something contemporary. يعني عايزين يا أمنية حاجات تكون 2020 2021 يعني الحاجات اللي انت في المفروض خدت سامبل وحللتيها فين الحاجات فين الكلام اللي اتقال في الثري نيوز بيبرز ما حطيتهاش ليه في الـ في الـ في الريفرنسز يبقى عندك حاجه 2021 2020 فين uh -huh. الكلام ده موست اب تو ديت يس مور يا يعني اخر حاجة عندك 2014 معقول في اللغويات اخر مرجع عندي 2014 معروف ان اللغويات كل خمس دقايق في حاجة جديدة بتنزل فلازم نكون احدث من كده اوكي ثانك يو سو ماتش اوكي شور ثانك يو ثانك يو بروفيسور اشرف فور ذس فيري فيري يو نو يو نو وات اي كان سي ريسورس فول فيري ديب um investigation of uh, this um plan and i'm uh, really happy with all the remarks and now we move to uh, uh professor uh, Rihem. um do you have any remarks any uh, anything to say about the uh, the paper or the presented plan uh dr Rihem, Rihem khalifa dr Rihem. Yes, 
Yeah. I think all the remarks are grateful and uh, outstanding. I am sure Omnia will take all these remarks into her consideration in the final version, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Okay, now we move to uh, Professor uh, Engie. Uh, are you there, Professor Engie? Uh, she's been with us. I don't know. Uh, she's She's been here with us. Okay, now uh, let's move to... Um, Dr. Uh, Raif, Dr. Raif, are you there? Yes, present. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, now you have um, you have the candidate. Okay, go ahead. You have the ground. Yeah. Hello, 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 everyone. First, I would like to say hello to everyone, Professor Ahmed, head of the department, and my dear colleagues, and uh, all attending uh, the MA candidates. And of course, uh, I'd like to say. Uh, hello and welcome, Dr. Abdullah, to uh, the department. It's an honor to have you here, and uh, it's an honor to 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 wash your face. Maybe some some of us don't haven't seen your face before, but we met before uh, in person, I, and, and I, ha I had the pleasure and the honor to to meet you uh, many times. So welcome, sir. Um, as for Omnia, uh, actually, I'm I'm not an expert in linguistics, but um, let me say something regarding um, the language. Uh, I had or I have some um, reservations concerning the language expressed or used in the thesis by Omnia. Uh, first, let me talk about uh, your first sentence, the first page. Yeah. The first page uh, and the first sentence and the first page you said, Within the last few decades, some political issues which take place, lost and take place. I think you should say, you should have said, which took place. Within the last few de decades, some political issues which took place within the globe. Uh, so do you agree with, with me that this should be in the past tense or present? What do you think, Omnia? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but actually, uh which take place within the globe, I think this is uh, con I mean, continuous maybe, but sure, yeah, within the last few decades, uh, I have to use past, uh, but here to, to say which take place within the globe, I mean that uh, this happened every day, you know, uh, to, to have this uh, great number of uh, political issues every day, but sure, grammatically, uh, it's considered as a mistake, yeah. And I'm okay. sorry, and I will, yeah, yes. and I- Second sentence, a great number. I think we sh you should have said a large number. A great number is rarely used. It's seldom used in English. We don't say a great number. We say instead a large number of linguists. Large number, okay. Okay, um, then we move to um, the, f the same paragraph. Um, Political regime, uh, where is it? Um, let me search for it. Political regime, yes, uh, the fourth line, the fourth line, the first paragraph. Yes. Built on the notion that a political regime cannot adapt to life without communication. Could you explain this? How can a political regime adapt to life? Do you think that political regimes or regime adapts to life? How, how could this happen? Yes, sure. Uh, 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 political regime uh, cannot, uh, cannot be well, uh, uh, we can say maybe illustrated or explained uh, or realized maybe throughout the whole uh, public citizens or something like this uh, without communication. I have to say, uh, I have to introduce a discourse uh, uh, maybe to, to, to communicate with the, with the uh, public citizens or something like this. So I have to uh, communicate more so that uh, the political uh, regime will be more realized. And that's, this is what I mean actually. Okay, but do political regimes adapt to life? I think that people adapt to life. Yeah, you mean, so you- so adapt you, you, to life. Adapt is not Individuals the adapt to life. Yeah. So you, you mean so what, that- uh, What's the point? What's the point here? The point Sorry? here- that, hmm. mm -hmm. 
yes, the point here that the political, I want to say that the political regime here in life, hmm, I have to communicate so that my political regime will, will uh, uh, we can say, uh, uh, received by, by, by the others through communication. I have to do this through communication. And if adapt, uh, uh, we have a problem with adapt, here we can we can change it with another uh, expression maybe i think this needs clarification Omne. you need to clarify this and again by, by the way this is repeated throughout your, your proposal so many sentences that need to be developed that need to be clarified G many general statements so please you just you, you just write a sentence and then you move to another sentence with a new idea and then I, I didn't get the meaning I didn't get the point because there is no enough explanation and development of the idea which is stated before so you might come across with one paragraph that has lots of ideas lots of minor ideas so what's the point of the paragraph your paragraph should have just one one topic sentence and this topic sentence has a controlling idea and you should develop this controlling idea but what i found in this proposal is that in each paragraph i can see lots of ideas so please try to develop and extend your ideas okay Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much. The last, uh, the last sentence in the, in, the first, uh, in the first paragraph in the introduction and implementing a political action, you should have here a, a, in the indifferent article a, and implementing a political action. This is a slight mistake, no problem. Then we move to the second, the second paragraph in the introduction, starting with according to Satter. Then language can be fundamentally covered as a vehicle either to read or send, receive messages. And then with the aim of solving, communicating, hearing, responding, or listening. This is what I, I have just said. What's the point here? Solving what and communicating what and responding to what and listening to what? You, you have here one, two, three, four, five. You have five different issues with five different functions of the language. I think this needs clarification. Actually, this is not my main uh, idea. This is just, uh, just, um, just to clarify more that language uh, 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 as a vehicle to send receives messages. So as to, to be more, uh, uh, so I said after this that uh, um, this would, will be with the aim of solving of course, solving problems around them or issues, communicating with each other, hearing each other, responding or listening, something like this. This is not my main aim to, to go through deeper, and to go through this in a deep way. That's it. This is what I mean. Okay, okay, okay. Um, then we move to the same paragraph, the same paragraph. Yes, more than one theory. Um, one, two, three, four, the fourth line. More than one theory can be inserted. Uh, do we insert theories? Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about, about the verb insert. Do we use insert with a theory? Is this the right collocation? Do we yeah, insert I, I theories? I think you should have said... Uh, apply uh, yes. more than one theory can be applied or more than one theory can be worked on for example yeah. or more than one one theory can be developed can be put forward all these verbs are much better than insert we don't insert a theory okay so okay. Uh, i think you should uh, you should have said here uh, for example uh, applied oh yeah okay okay then uh, same paragraph, do an analysis. Um, I'm really, again, it's the use of the verb do. I think this is not an academic word, to do an analysis. Uh, why not conduct an analysis, for example? Um, I, don't, I, I don't know whether Dr. Abdullah agrees with me to do an analysis. Is this academic? I agree with you uh, for this point and, and uh, the previous 
fight about inserted because any approach should be should be applied, not inserted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. So change the verb insert and choose uh, and change the verb to do, do an analysis. Correct. Because yeah. in, in, in any linguistic study, we have approach or model, then we have to apply it, not insert it, not insert it. Your yes. So Dr. Ruff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the right track to how to guide you. Go ahead, Dr. Ruff. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you, sir. Uh, same paragraph again. Thereby, the study is directed to do an analysis on the comprehension of Trump's announcement of the deal of the century as a controversial issue regarding. Regarding him, regarding him, regarding three magazines. I think this is a, a literal Arabic translation. So I think. Uh, just put the preposition in, in three magazines or in three okay. newspapers, not regarding. Okay, okay. Okay. In three magazines. Yes, in three okay. magazines. Well, in the past, you read and can you mention the three magazines? Mention okay. the names of the magazines or the newspapers. Yeah, uh, uh, later on in the, in, the, in the proposal, but it's okay. لا, to, later to mention... on. I'm going to see her in the first one, later on. I'm going to see her in the first one, and then I'm going to see her in the first one. But the first one, you tell me three magazines, I'll tell you what they are. What are the three magazines? What are the names? And you tell me in three magazines. What are the three magazines? What are the three magazines? I'm going to see the information. Okay. Okay, um, then we move to page, page three. Yeah. Page three, par paragraph number two. Yes. Page three, paragraph number two. No, uh, statement of the problem, sorry. Statement, statement. I'm sorry, paragraph number two, yes, paragraph number two, starting with one of the most controversial political issues, okay? Yes. Second line, for all Middle East crises, right? Uh, again, please, for, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, Trump declares that this deal is the solution for all Middle East crises, yeah. Crisis. Okay, crises, and then you, you said nothing about this. عندك مشكلة يا أمنية أنا مش متفق معاك شوية إنك أنت عندك مشكلة إن إحنا إن الجمل بتاعتك جنرال في جنراليزيشن كتير قوي وكمان في بريفينج كتير قوي you should say something about this how the deal is a solution for all Middle Eastern crises from the point of view of Trump this is one issue حاجة تانية كمان Middle East عند عندك East Capital و Middle Small يعني خد بالك من الحاجات الصغيره دي تخصص yes so linguistics yes okay considering the 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 punctuation something like this this is very yeah very important and i'm sorry about this but uh considering to be brief i have to i have to this is a proposal i have to 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 say this in 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 just a sentence a sentence or two sentences مش هتكتبي paragraph او صفحه كامله انا عايز بس حاجه بسيطه جدا تحس يعني عشان انا ما اخدش الانطباع impression that, that you are copying one sentence from one source and you putting it here okay no. just say say something say just a sentence or two about your point about your idea so what can point رئيسيه او point uh, minor او major مش مشكله لكن you have to clarify more ما تحطليش جمل كده كتيرة قوي uh, هنا 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 بحس ان في blocks of sentences and these sentences need to be clarified oh, not to be fully clarified okay excuse me Dr. Raif uh, yes I'm sorry for the interruption yeah Omnia that's okay for sir uh, Omnia we need to uh, to be clear on something that yes you are, you are writing a plan for the registration of a certain academic degree this is actually like a contract. You know, the contract, the legal contract, the legal yeah. contract must be what? Must be very definite, very clear. Right. I'm going to do and one, two, three, four, all right? Mm -hmm. One has mm -hmm. to do between brackets A, B, C, D, all right? Because this is actually the nature of academic writing. And this is the yes. nature of, especially, especially that your study here has to do with, you know, uh, these little points and how you are going to connect them. 
together. Proof reading, of mm -hmm. course, and this is what Dr. Rob is actually telling you is very important. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm enjoying this, Dr. Rob. I'm really enjoying it, all right? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Me too, by the way. I'm enjoying this too. Uh, last point, uh, page, page four. Last page four? Point. Yes. Yes. Research, research objectives. Research objectives. Objectives, okay. Uh, number one, number two, number three. Number one, American newspapers. Number two, selected American newspapers. Number three, selected American newspapers. American newspapers. Write the American newspapers. Okay. Okay, I've read it. Okay. In selected, one, two, three. Well, I have mentioned them. And I have, 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, just one minute, please, to uh, best to write the remark that you have said, please, Dr. Raif. Okay, uh, research methodologies. Yeah. To also perhaps, uh, questions, the current study combines between CDA and Halliday's SFL. Combines the combines in a capital layer, yeah, yeah, and Okay, uh, uh, all of these functions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I'm not. I'm not uh, uh, you are extremely true. I'm not uh, negotiating you or something. Okay, I know, uh, I know. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, this is extremely true. And I'm sorry about this again. Uh, we, um, just a, a small remark. Um, we have worked uh, about this uh, and make a lot of changes throughout like uh, a year and a half. So it was uh, every day we find mistakes and every day we, we do it. And uh, so I'm very, very sorry. And um, no, that's I okay. No, that's okay. Uh, mistakes are mistakes are acceptable. No problem. But please clarify the first sentence to answer the previous questions. The current uh -huh. study combines between CDA and Halliday's SFL. Yeah. Could you clarify on this? How does the current study combine between these two approaches? I need some more ideas or some more clarification. Uh, okay, let me explain this uh, previously. Uh, 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 SFL, systemic functional language, as we mentioned before, right? And CDA, critical discourse analysis. Here we are doing what? We are uh, analyzing uh, discourse analysis, political discourse analysis, right? Okay, so I will use, uh, I, or I will analyze, okay, a discourse through what? Through what? Through the SFL, the systemic mm -hmm. linguistics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I, so here, let me tell you that I will use, uh, I will analyze the crit this uh, discourse throughout the SFL, which is the systemic functional linguistic and uh, the, the, the most important two items in this, experiential and interpersonal and, and, and so on. Okay, are you, say, are, are you saying that there is a common ground between CDA and SFL or are these two separate, different approaches? Very are good, they... Very good question, Dr. Rossi. Very good question. Do, do these two approaches have something... By the way, by the way, I'm not asking you and I know the answer. <laughs> I don't know the answer, by the way. I need you to answer me because you said combine. Yeah, sure. Combine yes, sure. means combine mm -hmm. between this and that. This means that there are some similarities between the two approaches. Sure. Is this the, is this the case or you are, you are thinking of something else? You mean that you are going to employ the CDA yes. and the SFL? Femenia, yes. Omnia? There is a common there is a common thing here, which is the, the, the language itself. I will analyze what? I will analyze what? I will analyze a discourse, which is language. So what I will use, the SFL, which is a kind of a, a, a branch of uh, the applied linguistics. And th this is what I'm talking about, that I will use, uh, how I will analyze the discourse throughout the SFL. What are the, the common here? The language. The language used here in the, in the, in the discourse, 
I will uh, uh, analyze it. I, I will analyze this throughout the SFL. لا يا أمنة. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. بس يا خلينا خلينا أقول لك السؤال بطريقة ثانية شوي. إحنا عندي خلينا اسمعيني بس اسمعيني احنا عندنا two approaches SFL و CDA مش كده؟ yes yes لو انا سالتك سؤال بعيدا خالص عن الـ عن التوبيك بعيدا خالص عن البروبوزل خلينا اكلمك كده بعيدا عن البروبوزل تماما انسي البروبوزل وانسي البوليتيكال ديسكورس وانسي الديسكورس اناليسيس وانسي الموضوع اساسا اللي احنا بنتكلم فيه لو انا قلت لك okay. ايه الحاجات السيميلر او الكومن بين CDA and SFL في حاجه كده؟ في حكم شوية ال proposal ال CDA وال SFL is there anything common or similar not about similar or not about common I'm I'm here using how I will how I will analyze this discourse هاي الجدا so I will use both of them here okay got it isn't كلمة combine هنا is not a good word to use because you're not combining you are using employing or implementing okay cda cda critical discourse analysis this this is this is an issue okay functional approach this is another issue critical discourse analysis we have scholars tackling it like Fair Clough, like Van Dyke. This is CDA. Functional yeah. approach, this is your core study. Sorry for interrupting you, Dr. Rai, but that's okay. I have to, I have to- With uh, pleasure, sir. For, for CDA, thank you. CDA, this critical discourse analysis, we have scholars, uh, linguists tackling it, like Fair Clough, like Van Dyke, for example. But Halliday, this is, you know, focusing upon his own his own approach the uh, called function approach so so it's much better for you or your mayor to narrow down your title your title here i think that you have to narrow down you can counter or delete some of them for example you can say for example a function analysis of the deal century inverted commas in selected um, uh, selected american online newspapers fair enough for you young man why why you do that because your title having keywords keywords should be included should be provided and once you once you do that so you 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 focusing upon every word in your title but once you once you provide a uh, uh, Pol political discourse, this is this is the uh, approach, CDA. But at the very beginning, you've mentioned function analysis. This is another approach. Why? Why? So, so I think that fair enough to focus, to focus upon function approach, Halliday's function approach, and this is this is very good for, for your title. But it does not mean that your title is not interesting. It's interesting, by the way, nowadays. Objectively, this is an interesting topic, but uh, uh, any linguistic study, you have to adopt one approach, one model, not a combination or blending of, 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 of approaches, especially, especially there is some kind of discrepancy between them. This is the, the, uh, I, uh, I, I need uh, lots of time, but, but I, I have to give my dear colleague, Dr. Rod, to finish first. Once you yeah, I'm done. Dr. I'm done, sir. I'm done. <laughs> Have you finished, Dr. Rod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Dr. Thank Dr. you, Dr. Professor Ahmed. Ahmed. Thank you. Okay, Dr. thank Dr. you. Ahmed, thank you, can I, you Dr. Can I, can I speak? Thank you, Dr. Raib, uh, for, for uh, this very thorough, uh, you know, uh, resourceful investigation of the, uh, the, the student. Well, of course, the remarks, 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 by the end of the day, this is for, for your own good, okay? And this is for uh, for the sure. good of everybody here. Because this is, so a, point, uh, this is a point of learning. Yeah. We are all learning here. I mean, this is what yes. the seminar is for. Okay, now, Dr. Uh, Abdullah, go ahead. Yes. Thank you, Professor Ahmed. Omnia, uh, at the very beginning, your, your title is interesting, uh, as I've told you before. 
But but uh, but you have to narrow down your title because your your title this is your own life your own life your title okay this is this is uh, I have some few remarks for you um, uh, uh, um, uh, as for your your approach your functional approach uh, you have to um, you have to cover your approach uh, uh, in detail. Because once I see your uh, your sample analysis here, um, I think that your analysis may be hazy, should be more profound. Why? Because function approach, you live in circles in research. For example, function grammar, you have to talk about the context of situation or situational context. You have to go to field of discourse, tenor of discourse, mood of discourse then you then you have to go to the discourse semantics for example including ideational interpersonal textual uh, uh, function all of these topics or issues you have to cover them uh, then you have to talk about transitivity you have mm -hmm. to go to uh, 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 participate functions uh, including actor receiver verbiage uh, then go to the lexical grammar. It's a grammar includes transitivity, modality, theme, uh, ream, cohesion. Uh, uh, last, last circle, you have to talk about the, the, the relationship between the clues and the context, including material, mental, declarative, all of these topics closely related to your functional approach already mentioned in your, in your model, in your function uh, approach. Um, uh, 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 about your, uh, 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 um, uh, your uh, uh, references, I, I agree with Professor Ashraf about your references. Yeah, I think that may be old, so it's much better to, re to adopt references. Uh, from 2000, 2010, for example, because research, generally speaking, we are talking about something new, something contribution to, to research in linguistics. It's not, we are not talking about the past, we're talking about in the future. Yeah. So, so this is very, very important, you know, especially for uh, an MA candidate, okay? Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, the same paragraph about Professor uh, Ashraf, according to Sabar 1929, I think this reference is too old itself. Too old itself. But, yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to uh, provide uh, one of the latest uh, references. Uh, Saban, I agree with Professor Viham about, about APA style. APA style, you have to mention the, the surname, the last name. Okay, this is very important about what about the updated latest uh, uh, references. This is out of question, by the way. Um, uh, then uh, let's go to page two rationale for the study quickly because uh, uh, we have another uh, an MA candidate. Rationale behind the study only, not for the study. Behind the study, behind the study, not for the study. Okay. Uh, rationale. The, rationale the, the, the behind. behind the study. Yes, not for. Behind the study. Concentrate with me and quickly because we have another MA candidate. Okay, yes. page yes, three. Sure. Page, page three. Page three. Okay. Uh, the first paragraph or the part of this paragraph, you said uh, Sanger 2011. Okay? You got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's yes, not, I it's not, it's, it's not found in references, it's not found in bibliography. So, singer, you have yes, it's not Any... not found in bibliography. Yonea, this is ABC research. You have to check every reference you have in your research in bibliography. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. otherwise it means that this is a bad impression that as a researcher. So you have to check it, yeah, uh, cautiously. Okay, uh, page page four. Okay. Page four research uh, research objectives. Uh, um, uh, I, I so um, uh, Dr. Rafiani, uh, uh, a 
absolutely, uh, yeah, of course, uh, he's right about the question or objective too. Political discourse. So it's much better to say the deal of the century instead of political discourse. Why? Because political discourse uh, will will place you, will uh, put you in another world, another uh, uh, linguistic approach, analysis, fair club, Van Dyke, and so on. Why? So so you have to close this door. Okay, forever. Just go to your point directly. Directly, not indirectly. Go to your point directly. So forget okay. it. Political discourse. Go to the deal of uh, uh, the century. Okay. Research questions. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's much better to delete the current study seeks to answer the following questions. Go to your question. We have no time yeah. to, to read to read any introductory sentences. Okay. okay. Linguistic study. Okay. okay? Go to uh, page five, page five, research design. Honestly, this is the first time for me to, to read this subtitle in any plan proposal. Research design or med, this is not fashion or med design, okay? This is, this is very research. So you can say chapterization, for example, chapterization, just write and chapterization. That's it, and not, not design. And not uh, you can say chapterization you can do that but research design design is another connotation and limitation okay, uh, okay. about chapterization uh, professor ahmed yani uh, uh, our dear professor yani you have to divide your plan proposal for example in in chapterization chapter one this is you know plan proposal uh, chapter two, this is theoretical framework. Chapter three, this is the practical framework. This is the application, okay? This is how can you apply uh, the functional approach on your sample analysis. Then for chapter four, this is the conclusion and bibliography, that's it. This is the whole, the whole study you have, okay? You have to learn how to be concise, accurate, uh, 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 a meticulous researcher, fussy researcher, if you double S Y, fussy or meticulous researcher. This is yes. very, very important. Okay. Yes. Uh, about data collection, page five, same page here. Yeah? Um, you, you've said you've said that uh, these articles are presented in the period between January, January and February, twenty twenty. Right? Have you yes. read it? Okay. Yes. So you, you, know, you, you should tell us why you select this period between January and February 2020. Why? You have to, you have to tell us why you choose this period. Why? Because actually, the uh, these articles, uh, which is presented in this in 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 this period, uh, was handling the, the announcement uh, in, in this time. Okay, what, what, why, do, why don't you mention it yet? At, okay. the very <laughs> at the very beginning, I told you that in research, not with intention, I mean, the doctor, wallahi, la, mafish qasdi, mush qasdi, mafish qasdi, and then all of the that's a good thing, oh yeah. We have to focus upon tangible work, not theoretical work. Something written. خلاص إحنا عم نزل المحكمة كده. خلاص. You have to prove what you say. You have to prove it. Not what what you think. Not what you read. What 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 you wrote. What you written in your research. Then I have to discuss it with you. Not ideas in your mind. No, absolutely not. We're talking about something written. Written you might be the best thing. خلاص إحنا شغالين بعد اللي تكتبه. فهمنا؟ your topic is interesting. Okay, page Thank you. six. Thank you so much. Page six. 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 Page ده أكثر دقة ده يعني دقة الأستاذنا يعني ولكن مش معنى كده لا تشوفيه غلط لا صحيح برضو صحيحة ولكن إحنا برضو بنحاول نمشي مع 
اساتذتنا الكبار اللي علمونا وخلونا يعني ايه يعني نفهم يعني ايه علم ويعني ايه طيب دي حاجه بالنسبه للفيرست باراجراف او فيرست سنتنس في اللتر ريفيو to various subjects. How will help the more I did by or I go to your point directly. Okay. Happy with happy with action. So you don't need the sentence. Go to your point A directly. Okay. Okay. Page seven. Page seven. Theoretical framework. So 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 you see you see when when you when you mention in your title political discourse or CDA. So you you must. Mention what does mean discourse analysis, what does mean critical discourse analysis. Then you have to uh, uh, provide approach or model concerning critical discourse analysis, like, like Fairclough, for example, or or Van Dyke, or, or whatever. So what? What? Cancel, ca cancel uh, 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 anything related to uh, uh, discourse analysis, okay? Or critical discourse uh, analysis. طبعا. I about, have to. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you have to focus upon functional approach, functional uh, uh, study of uh, of the, uh, the 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 deal of the century. For example, in selected American online newspapers, fair enough, fair enough. Oh yes, using SFL only. You mean yes, right? Yes, this is this is your own title, your own title having mm -hmm. having keywords, and you have to tackle all of these keywords. This is yeah. you know ABC research, okay? Okay. Uh, generally, you have to arrange your uh, your, uh, your scholars about the, the years the years of of scholars 2014, then 1998, then uh, 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 2012. Uh, it's not right. You have to arrange it, okay? If you if you uh, tackle any linguistic topic, okay? <laughs> Hmm. Uh, let's go to page. Uh, so you mean that I have to arrange them according to uh, according to the the date, right? Very good. Yes. Very good point. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you for this. On, on, uh, on your your, I know that you are an MA uh, candidate. So your analysis, طبعاً. It's not يعني, profound because uh, uh, you have not covered all of all the tones of knowledge. Once you tackle all of these components, so your analysis, your analysis, your sample, so will be will be uh, more more detailed. Okay. Yes, sure. Inti, inti yes. خلاص في طبعا بعد كده في طبعا you have to check your uh, your references يا أمنية okay and you have to uh, uh, focus upon the references your language Dr. Raj uh, يعني he's right about the academic English Academic writing. This is very important. You are not. You are. No, you are no longer undergraduate. You are postgraduate. So you have to pay great attention to your academic English, uh, academic writing uh, about variety of your, your language. Uh, and inshallah, yani, and I thought that inshallah, 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 inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Thank Thanks. you so much. I'm, I'm great, really. Thank you. I finished. Mr. Ahmed, I think you are closing the, the mic. I'm muting uh, the, the mic. Yes. Sorry, sorry. I was. I was uh, yeah, muting the, the mic. Thank, thank you, Dr. Abdullah, for uh, this discussion. Uh, we have all, uh, I think we have all benefited from uh, this discussion. Uh, just like I said, uh, you are uh, such a dear. Uh, you know, uh, um, you know, colleague, and we are so happy to have you on board, sir. Uh, it is such, you know, uh, a happy thing to have such an academic, you know, uh, addition to the department. We are so happy to have you, sir. 
Uh, and of course, uh, let me um, you know revise on what Dr. Ashraf, Dr. Raif, and Dr. Abdullah said. I'm right. I'm you know I'm taking notes here right now. Um, so the chapterization, all right? The, yes, chapterization. Yeah, you have to name the problem of the deal of the century. You need to speak about a little bit about the name of the uh, the deal of the century. You need to define what's the problem. Your uh, your work cited. You need to pay attention more to the work cited. Try to have more uh, sources up to date. And of course, brief reading. I mean, what's what concerns the language and the you know the uh, the writing of your uh, and should be more definite, more clear, because this is actually uh, a basic requirement of academic, you know, writing. Academic writing is all about precession and uh, being very concise and very precise. Okay, uh, but again, uh, we all congratulate you on the choice of the uh, the the topic. It is very interesting, of course. And uh, thank you. Uh, we have uh, Professor, uh, who else, who, who wants to, um, to join in? Dr. Rashad, uh, any comments? Um, Dr. Marwa Shusha, uh, Dr. Riham Makoum, um, any comments? Morvana, any comments? Yes, sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Dr. Rashad, I have... Yes, hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, my dear colleagues. I'd like uh, to congratulate you all. Uh, happy New Year. Uh, uh, I hope to all of you a pleasant year and a happy year, inshallah. Uh, thank you, Omnia, for your um, uh, proposal. Uh, thank you, sir. So uh, 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 congratulations in advance. And uh, Thank you. actually, uh, my dear colleagues uh, haven't left me anything to elaborate on. They have actually covered all the points. Uh, thank you very much to Dr. Abdullah. <laughs> thank you from, uh, yes, Dr. Raif, and uh, of course, uh, Professor Ashraf. Uh, thank you all. Uh, yes, um, uh, Rahmat. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, Dr. Rashad. Uh, Dr. Riham Makroom, would you like to add anything? Are you with us, Dr. Riham? Okay, so good evening, all of you. Uh, first, yes. Okay, I'd like to congratulate Omeya. That's a very nice work indeed. Uh, so Omeya, I'd like to something preparing proposal. Everyone, or we all ask ourselves do you include each piece of information that provide a necessary piece of information that will help convince the reader that my research is valuable and should be supported. So please, Omnia, try to deal with all the remarks of uh, doctors, uh, the doctors have mentioned. Uh, it's a nice work indeed. Uh, so congratulations in advance. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, okay. Dr. Ian. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ian. And of course, we uh, we have another candidate. We have uh, Neda, Neda Aysam. But before we move on, um, another awesome doctor. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, uh, Omnia, I um, I have one question to ask you. Yes, uh, sure. Uh, now, in your title, uh, uh, you are speaking about. Uh, let me let me check here. You are speaking about the uh, analysis or the SFL of the political discourse of the deal of the century in selected American online newspapers. The yes. question is, why only American? I mean, uh, the deal of the century is such, you know, um, uh, something that have, you know, has drawn the attention of all people all around, all around the world. So you are a researcher who live in the Middle East uh, especially in Egypt, and we have, you know, uh, a neighboring country uh, with a lot of history, a lot of issues with. Of course, we are speaking about uh, Israel. Uh, so uh, I'm asking here, what about, you know, um, the idea that you are going to analyze this reception of the deal of the century in Egypt, in Israel, and in America? Because we, we, this is the triangle. Uh, I'm yes. just... You know, Asking. This is just, you know, a theoretical um, supposition, whatever, right? 
I'm, I'm just and actually it's it's very very uh, uh, let me tell you um, interesting question because uh, simply three uh, American question pay attention oh yeah question okay. British very careful <laughs> of your presentation your linguistic okay research. okay Oh yeah, okay, but um, sometimes I'm, I use um, other accents, so I'm sorry about this. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um, uh, let me illustrate this. Let yeah, me illustrate ahead. this. Yeah, go ahead. Is go my ahead. voice right now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, actually, three American, uh, 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 three American newspapers. This is because that they will be fair enough. Because actually, this problem of the deal of the century is is not. Uh, 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 it's not. It's not the uh, the main problem of them. The, uh, this will not uh, make them uh, have any problems. It's uh, it's our problem actually, the Arab problem. So if I will use, uh, for example, any kind of, of uh, Arabic uh, newspaper, this m might, this would be, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, it's I'm not- my hand. I would like to, to, to say something. Yes, please. Yeah, I would like to say something. You are speaking about the online newspapers, all right? Of course, written in English. And we have so many uh, online newspapers written in English. We have the Egyptian Gazette, yes. we have the Middle East, we have, you know, so many newspapers. Aram Weekly. All right. Aram Weekly, for instance. All right. So you can actually uh, go to the headlines, uh, deal with the, the language used and the closest, just like you, you said they are going to analyze them. Very good suggestion. I'm just, you know, suggesting, just a question. I'm just asking why, especially the American, why, why isn't it a, a kind of a comparative, illustrative kind of a study to, uh, to see what uh, the people are, uh, you know, what is the action of the people? Can I say something, Professor? Yes, yeah, sure. And I have, and I have illustrated uh, this, uh, Professor, Dr. Ahmed. Professor Ahmed, I, of course, I mean, in, in research or any research, you have to be objective rather than subjective. So yes, you and this is what let, let, let me finish what I want to say, please. Okay. Yeah, let yeah. Sure. Say Professor Ahmed, um, uh, focusing upon something very, very important here about you have to be objective rather than subjective about your sample about your sample analysis. Uh, you focusing upon only merely American newspapers, online newspapers. Why you, I agree with Professor Ahmed here, why you provide a variety of uh, uh, newspapers, native speaker, English, uh, for example, British, for example, and American, for example, uh, here, New York Times, Washington Post, and US Today, okay. Cancel one of them, for example, and you uh, 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 depend upon, for example, Guardian, Guardian British. This is a British newspaper. This is an American newspaper. So this is some kind of variety to prove that you are objective, not subjective. Okay? This is very, very... Oh, oh, oh another option. You can use um, American newspaper and Egyptian newspaper. Excuse me, Professor Abdullah. Uh, I think okay. she she mentioned something in the proposal about uh, about how this uh, global issue constituted a threat to all Middle Eastern countries. So why don't you put the Middle East or the Middle Eastern newspapers or the Western and non-Western newspapers? So yes. we can make a comparison between how the West yes. views this issue and how the non-West. So it becomes something global since it is it is a global issue. So in, the, in, that, in that way, you have two perspectives. In the, in, 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 you have different perspectives. But that's a big point. That's a big point. Yes, thank you, Dr. Rashad. You have different pattern pattern of thoughts. Here on the point. So this is very good for you for your research later on. Okay. Hi. Uh, can, can I answer about this? Or? Yes, you can. You can do it. Yes, move on. Uh, 
first of all, thank you so much about this amazing suggestions. But but um, I want to clarify something that uh, uh, actually to use these three main uh, mainly the, uh, the three uh, uh, American uh, uh, online newspaper uh, as you mentioned because uh, I want them to be more. F they will be. I'm sure that they will be uh, very very fair because this problem. Uh, it's not. It's not very important. It's sure. It's very important to them. But if I if I uh, uh, consider this from a, a, a Arabic point of view or or from the uh, Middle East or something like this, maybe I I will find this uh, kind of uh, to be more pious or prejudiced to to to, um, to be more. Uh, uh, here I will be subjective if I if I uh, use Arabic. Newspapers. Okay, uh, uh, Omnia, Omnia, let me tell you, let me tell you something. All right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, of course, you are dealing with one of the most important political issues, which is the deal of the century. This is something controversial. Of course, you are going to face bias on the side of the Americans and bias on the side of the Arabs. And your job as an academic researcher is to do your job in an objective way. And yes. this objectivity sure. could be could be applied only by applying a theoretical framework and working on it. So you are dealing with the language in an objective way on both sides. So my suggestion, my recommendation is yes, just sure. to see the newspaper titles. I mean the titles or the headlines, all right, in the newspapers and uh, from the Middle East, I mean, around weekly, for instance, you can take just one paper, one paper, one newspaper, right? And you can, you know, um, compare it with one magazine, and your work is going to be more defined, more defined, more definite, more definite all right? This is a recommendation, all right? Yes, and it's okay. an amazing one. Thank you. All, all right, but about being biased, no, your, your job or being prejudiced, no, this is not your job as an academic researcher. This is not our job. I know. Our, job yes. our job is to be very objective. And how, yes, sure. can we, how can we be objective? This is the question. How can we achieve this objectivity? It is only through applying a theoretical uh, you know, framework and working on it. That's it, okay? So this is just, you know, a recommendation. Uh, okay. yeah, you need to, you I'm know, really try, this try recommendation. To, yeah, try to think about it, all right? Try to think yes, about sir. it. And of course, let me tell you something that this idea could be logically developed and you could have actually answered the question in a more precise way if you have a precise chapterization, if you have a definite chapterization. So if you just tell us, that in chapter one, I'm going to deal with the American newspapers and the magazines, and I'm going to compare and contrast between them, this is fine. So again, we have here two major issues with your, uh, with your plan, all right? It is the chapterization, this is number one, and of yes. course, the, uh, the, the, the statement of the problem itself, how you are going to deal with it, because it is political after all. And your job yes. is to be objective, all right? So, yes, sure. Uh, Mr. Sure. Nien, the plan of your plan, of course, with Dr. Riham, you will have the recommendations, and Mr. Nien, the remarks of your plan, will be Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. So much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's move to uh, Nada Awesome. All right. Yeah, Nada, are you yes. there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Uh, thank you for being patient. No, <laughs> it's my duty. <laughs> thank you for your patience. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, okay. Now uh, I'm going to uh, to make you a host of uh, of this. Um, yeah, Dr. Raif, please help me how to make another a, a host. Uh, just go to her name and uh, you'll see, uh, you'll scroll down, you'll see a list, make her uh, host. Uh, this, this is, I cannot see this list, I cannot be seen. Go to her name and, and uh, right click. Okay, so just a minute, okay. Yeah, Nada, yeah, Nada. Okay, Nada, yes. Nada, awesome. 
It doesn't work here, Doctor. Uh, yeah, Doctor. Uh, you'll see. You'll see a box uh, uh, above your right hand. Uh, this is a box. There is a box here. Yes, we have here the chat and uh, and hide non-video participants and then. Yes. Okay, may, may, maybe uh, maybe Omnia is still the host. Uh, Omnia is still the host. All right. So um, yeah, Omnia, you need to. Uh, so I, I okay, I will go or what? No, no, go in. Hold on, host here, but unhost. You are under arrest. It's a great honor, wallahi. It's a great honor. Ah, yeah, of To be under arrest, man, it's a great honor, Amelie. Oh, wallahi, In, in, Nada. I'm here. I'm listening. ما استني بس يا ندى ما احنا مش عارف انا الحكايه طب يو كان شير يو كان شير هير اتس بيتر تو شير ماي اتس بيتر فور مي تو شير ماي بروبوزل ان اوردر تو بي كنترول تو بي اون كنترول سو يو نيد تو تو امنيه هي اللي تنقل الهوست امنيه دلوقتي الهوست فامنيه اللي تنقل الهوست اي سينك اوكي يس Go ahead, yes. Omnia, please try. <laughs> please okay. try, Omnia. Okay, I will, I will. Just one minute, please. Okay, take your time. Okay, you, you Omnia, you are going to make Nada the host. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay, tab, tab how? <laughs> how about go, Just... go to her name, go to her name, go to her name. Okay. Just one minute. Okay. Uh, روحي على البوكس بتاعها يا روحي على البوكس بتاعها يا امنيه وهتلاقي yes. مربع فوق على اليمين مربع ازرق uh, على اليمين اضغطي عليه كده هيطلع لك قائمه هتختاريها هوست ميك هوست مربع ازرق على اليمين اه فوق في نفس ال... في نفس المربع اللي ظهر فيه اسامينا كلنا صور اللي فوق روحي أص... روح الاول على ندى عاصم العمري وقفي انا رحت على ندى كويس دوسي كده اعملي اي حاجه بالماوس بتاعتك هتلاقي في قائمه تطلع لك فيها انا اصلا من يعني فروم ذا موبايل ام نوت فروم ذا لابتوب بس اي مش مشكله مش هتفرق مش هتفرق هو انا مش لاقيه الازرق ده بس انا ثانيه واحده بس ثانيه واحده حاضر خد وقت خد وقتك حاضر اوكي ندى يس ندى ميك هوست اوكي يس تمام خلاص شي از ذا هوست ناو ماي لابتوب ناو اي كان شير يا يس ندى جو اهيد جو اهيد ندى Yes, yes, Nada. Now we can see the uh, the uh, the data. Yeah. Set. We can see the, uh, the I'm, I'm, I'm. Yes, I'm. I, I'm sorry for that. Wait a minute. Uh, yes. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I want to uh, to start it from the beginning. Click. So please give me just one minute. Okay. على اليمين يا ندى بمنتهى البساطه انت متوتره على فكره روحي على اليمين كده واسحبي السكرول اب بس مش اكتر من كده سكرول اب. I'm sorry. سكرول اب بالماوس عادي جدا. <تصفيق> دوسي سكيب الاول دوسي سكيب ثانية واحدة معلش أنا آسفة هو تيك يور تايم أي أم 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 سوري دوسي سكيب الأول اعملي سكيب الأول وبعد كده سكرول أب أعملي سكيب اه دوسي سكيب الأول بعد كده اعملي سكرول أب سكرول أب بقى يلا I I will make a new a new share طيب ماشي I'm sorry
I think it's working now. Can yes, perfect. Uh, okay. First of all, good uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to my seminar meeting. Uh, so thank you so much for attending, and thank you so much for your time. Uh, first of all, and before we get into our topic, I'd like to briefly introduce myself to all of you. Uh, my name is Nada Asam al Amari, and I have graduated from Faculty of Arts, Damietta University. And I'm so glad today to present on my thesis proposal, which is entitled A Corpus Based Dis I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's not working. Wait. Click on, click on the slide, click on the slide. I clicked on the slide, but it's not working. On your right hand. I'm, 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 right I'm, I'm hand. really, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Please wait a minute. I'm really sorry. Unmute Dr. Ahmed, Professor Ahmed, unmute your mic. Yes, yes. I know. والله يا فندم جاهزه بس حضرتك متواجد معانا ما ينفعش لوحدي I'm going to let the cat out اخي وحبيبي وصديقي الدكتور رائف يعني بنشرب القهوه مع بعض طبعا يعني القهوه لا يعني اتس تايم اتس تايم يعني اكيد ثانك يو سو ماتش يو ويلكم سير يو ويلكم يعني ايوه يا نادر هاتي بقى عرض الشرائح واشتغلي بقى يلا حاضر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, I'm so glad uh, today to present on my thesis proposal, which is entitled A Corpus Based Study of Kuda Switching in Egyptian Doctors' Online Interaction. Uh, first of all, and before we begin in our main topic, we have to define what is Kuda Switching. In fact, Kuda Switching is a phenomenon of switching between two or more languages by the speaker in a single conversation. And here comes out an important question, which is, does Kuda switching a national or international phenomenon? Uh, actually, another definition has been outlined by the scholar who's called uh, Mabul in 2015. Uh, he claimed that Kuda switching is a worldwide phenomenon. And we can see in today's world, that multilingualism seems to be the norm rather than the exception. And as a result, mixed varieties of English and Arabic becomes widely accepted in the Middle East, and not just in the Middle East, but in the whole world. What about good switching situation in Egypt? In general, it's common among Egyptians to use mix of Arabic and English in their daily conversation, in their daily conversations, which is the same case for Egyptian doctors whether in their casual or medical talk. Uh, something which is worth noting here is that a plethora of previous studies have investigated Kuda switching among different groups of society, such as students, children, teenagers, and so on. And here comes out the significance of this study. My study is considered to be significant addition to the field of linguistics as little studies have investigated Kuda switching phenomena among doctors in online interactions. Additionally, most of these studies focus on doctor to other medical uh, person communication. Furthermore, this study um, is going to develop a corpus 
uh, analysis of English Arabic mixed code switching uh, for uh, whether for casual or medical talk. So I believe that uh, will enhance and facil facilitate the future research um, in the branch of corpus linguistics. Uh, what about my objectives? I think this study aims at identifying the common communicative code switching functions communicative. In, in doctors. Communicative. What? Communicative. Commu communicative. I'm sorry for that. It's communicative. Communicative. No. Communicative. Commu communicative. Communicative. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, it's a slip. Okay. Thank you for, okay. for your comment, doctor. Identifying the common communicative and negative code uh, switching functions in doctors' online interactions. Furthermore, in the, uh, it aims at investigating the types of code switching that are used in doctor to doctor online interactions. Uh, and based on the preceding objectives, uh, the study attempts to answer the following questions. Question number one is that to, to what extent code switching is used in doctor to doctor interaction? Number two, what are the different types of code switching used in doctor to doctor interaction? Number three question is that what are the functions of code switching said in doctor to doctor interaction? And the final question uh, says how do the functions of code switching used in doctors uh, to the, in doctor to doctor communications affect the type of code switching used. What about the methods? The study implement, uh, my study implements a quantitative and descriptive qualitative research methods to describe the linguistic situation found in doctors online interactions. For data collection, uh, as we mentioned before, a corpus of colloquial Arabic English code switching um, that include casual speech and medical speech will be developed friendly for speech found in doctors' online interactions. And for that purpose, I have a big list of different medical group names on Facebook uh, and Twitter. Uh, for example, Egyptian Union of Pediatric, Black Tubal Masri, and other groups. For analyzing the types of code switching, the study employs Apple and Muskin 2005 approach. Uh, this approach distinguishes between three types of switching, such as tag switching, intersentential switching, and intrasentential switching. Please let me give you a brief explanation for every type. Type number one. Type number one is that tag switching. Uh, what does tag switching mean? Um, tag switching means to switch either a single word or tag phrase or both. For example, uh, it's really a good day, so uh, we, say, uh, we say that in colloquial uh, language. Uh, so this is uh, the example number one of tag switching. Exa uh, number two, what about the intersentential switching? Uh, what does that mean? Firstly, it means to switch between one language to another, uh, and this is switching occurs between sentences. For example, uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, congratulations for everyone who passed the exam. And the last type is the intersentential switching. Uh, intersentential switching occurs between sentences. Uh, and um, uh, another uh, an example of this is that uh, this sentence دي محاضرة اللي انتو طلبتوها عن clinical attachment uh, this is a good example I think for the uh, intersentential switching uh, what about what about the uh, functions of code switching to examine the functions of code switching uh, I, I will, I'm going to apply Apple and Muskin 1987 function model, uh, which distinguishes between six of language functions, which are referential function, directive function, ex expressive function, uh, metalinguistic function, and fatic function. Please let me give you a brief uh, an example for every type. 
uh, and its meaning. Uh, firstly, the, firstly, the referential function involves lack of knowledge uh, or, or lack of facility in that language on certain subject. A good example of this, doctors always use technical terms in their interactions. Number two, the, the referential function involves lack of knowledge. Uh, I'm sorry, the directive function. It's used to exclude or include someone in the conversation. Uh, in general, we can uh, we can see parents do that in daily, uh, every day. Okay, and uh, this is the same case for doctors. So that we can see, doctors always use foreign language, which is English, to exclude their patients from the conversation. Number three is the, the, the expressive function. Uh, what does that mean? It's the switching in which the speaker emphasizes a mixed identity throughout uh, the use of two languages. Uh, a good example of this Egyptian teenagers, uh, or Egyptian teenagers uh, always use mix of Arabic and English in their daily talk. And this is also the same case for doctors. Uh, number four is the metalinguistic function. Uh, what does that mean? Um, this function is used to impress the, the participant with a show of a linguistic skill. A skill. And uh, we see also doctors use that in, in everyday conversations. Number six is the poetic, uh, number five is the phatic function, uh, which is used to keep open the line of the, the communication. A good e example of this, <clears throat> Uh, is that when when someone speaks, uh, he to make himself be on top, not just listen to. Uh, so he keeps saying that, uh, are you are you with me? Do you get what I mean? Uh, number six is the poetic function. Fo uh, the poetic function focuses on the message on its own sake. And a good example of this, uh, we can find it in slogans, advertisements, and so on. Uh, what about, I'm sorry, what about my study study outline? A chapter introduction. Uh, this chapter provides the theoretical preliminaries of the study, uh, illustrates significance of it, thus questions as explaining the methods and the theories for this study. Chapter number one, Addresses code switching in the light of functions and types. Chapter, chapter number two describes the, the data set of this study and addresses the methodological uh, procedures for, for data collection and analysis. Chapter number three carries out data, data analysis by addressing the research questions pertaining to the different, to different types and functions of the switches. Chapter number four is the conclusion which provides a summary for the findings and offers suggestions for, for the future research. And here is an example for my sample analysis, which I have mentioned before. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, thank you so much, Neda, for um, your presentation. And uh, of course, I'd like to thank you also for the choice of the uh, of the topic because it's very interesting, and it is something that uh, we all um, have noticed that yeah. people people of profession, whether they are uh, physicians or engineers or architects, sometimes. There are people working in certain professions. They like to, yes. uh, you know, uh, make this uh, code switching, especially in order, uh, you know, to exclude themselves from the other people, to have their own, you know, jargon. Let us say a jargon. Yeah, of identity own. or, yes. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's it. I think so. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So now um, I welcome all the uh, the remarks and uh, the, the the comments, and uh, let's start with uh, Professor Ashraf. Are you there, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Of course, we are we are so pleased to uh, to listen to your uh, your comments. Uh, 
Uh, uh, Omnia, this is uh, Nada. Yes, Nada, please uh, now give yes, uh, the host back to me. give the host back to me. All right, and um, I would like to end the end, end the screen share the uh, the sharing of the screen. Yes. End end the screen sharing right now. Um. Okay. Done or, or not yet? Not yet. You have you have here, um, uh, mm. you know, right in the control. In the control, you can just end the screen, end the screen sharing. Okay, so we get back to uh, uh, the normal uh, Zoom uh, uh, screen. Uh, our wizard, our wizard, <laughs> Doctor Ra, please help us. Wallahi, I think that Nada is going to go back. Leave the session. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave the sh session and rejoin. Okay. Uh, can I? Uh, can I do that? Okay. Akid, sure, yeah, you can. <laughs> if you okay. button is to leave or end session. Yes. Yes. Oh, أنا أنا معلش يعني where is this button to leave the أنت معك موبايل ولا لابتوب لابتوب هتلاقي below هتلاقي في بار تحت كده البار اللي تحت below هتلاقي في leave اطلعي فوق اطلعي فوق بالماوس يا حاضر أنا 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 بعمل شيء uh, it's like what we're at like you in the screen and the screen sharing so end sharing oh oh we had to view options for a here top sanya and i and i'm going to go 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 and i'